What's up, family? We're back in the academy, right? And today on the docket, on our schedule, we're gonna learn how to create a background in Canva. Let's dive in. All right, so here I am in Canva. Click on Create Design. Come down here to 1920 by 1080, and that's gonna open up a new design for us. So here we go, We've got that up here, ready to go. And so here we are in the design studio uh, space. I'm going to first uh, change this color to black. We've got that changed. And then I'm going to put uh, this picture onto the background. So I just go into the photos section and find a picture that I like. This one is really cool. I want that there. So I'm going to put that in the background. Hit T for text. And I'm going to use uh, something in my recent. Uh, well, let's see. What, what Which text can we use here? I like Anan Ananias. So let's get this one here, how it all works, right? So that's done. And then we want another text box. Pull that up a little bit. Let's change this to Babas New. I don't know if that's how I'm, if I'm pronouncing that right, but let's say uh, Convos and Collabs sponsored by Composition. And so... I'm going to make that a little bit smaller and put these both up in the top here of the of the background right and let's get this even a little bit smaller i'm going to put a line in here you hit l to get your line and again it's already white so that's good I'm just going to make sure that you don't make it uh at, at on an angle <laughs> so that's in there and just going to group that thing together and call it a day. All right, cool. Next thing I want to do is get my logo on the screen. I'm going to use a picture uh, element to do the logo. And I'm going to go ahead and get my logo from the How It All Works folder. Here's my logo here. Pull that in. And let's change the frame to the How It All Works purple. Let's get that smaller. Push it over to the side here. And we are cooking, we're cooking with gas. All right, so if we go back to elements, we're gonna pull a square onto the screen. I'd like this square to be uh, white. And we need some text. Um, I'm gonna change this to Code Pro, and we're gonna say at Nugent. And let's get that sized right. And we have that there. Uh, of course, one of the things that you're gonna need to do is change that text. So I'm gonna change it to this tech, this color here because that seems to match some of what we got going on. I'm gonna get my Facebook logo here, my YouTube logo here, Instagram logo here. Let's make those smaller. Try and make them so size so that it can work for what we've got going on here and let's get the YouTube. Hey, YouTube, right? I'm trying to grow on YouTube. So hopefully you guys are following along and you're making these things with me. So let's get that going there. All right. So at Karkar Nugent on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Move that over. Let's bring that that way. All right. So now we hit. We want to actually copy and paste the at Kirk R. Nugent here and just make it a little bit bigger so that I can fit my website in there, which is KirkRNugent.com. All right. Make that bigger there and pull this over so that we can put the www icon on there as well make that smaller bring this in there you have it so you got a little bit of a banner here i'm going to try and just size this down a little bit so that it's not so big we group the whole thing got to make sure you get everything though all right group it and push it down to this bottom corner here 
One of the things I like to do right before I export these to StreamYard or Restream or Ecamm is to duplicate the file by hitting uh, this icon here in the top right, hit duplicate, and that gives me another, uh, another exact design of what I've just finished. And I go back to photos and find another design. So I like this one, uh, but I also like this one. So you just kind of drag that onto it and you can see how that looks and you're saying, okay, that, that might work for me as well. So now I've got two backgrounds and this is one of the reasons why it's so great to be able to group these because you can move them around, you can shift them depending on your design. You can double click on this background here and actually size that a little bit differently to make that couch a little bit bigger if you want it to be more prominent. But this is how we would do this before we export it to our streaming platform. Last thing you're gonna wanna do is hit the download button Make sure it's a PNG, that's what I usually use, and hit download. And that's gonna download and we can import that into StreamYard. So here we are in StreamYard and I've found the file. I'm gonna click open to bring that into the system. It's gonna take a second to upload. And once that does, I can click it and then there you have it. I've got a really cool background in StreamYard. If I add both of them to the stream, both videos to the stream, select that box, you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like. So that's why I put it at the top and at the bottom. So I hope that was helpful for you. Hope that you were able to follow those steps and create your own unique backgrounds. Tag me in the comment section um, with your unique creations. Stay tuned for the next video because that's where we're gonna go over creating a two camera overlay. So. We ended with that shot with two cameras on the screen. How can we create a two camera overlay that's gonna really allow our live stream to pop? Stay tuned for that and check out that video. It's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works.